Hey everyone, today I'm here in Pennsylvania checking out the abandoned turnpike tunnels. Right now this is about a 13 mile bike trail which is open at your own risk. I just locked my bike up over here and we're gonna head up stairs and look at the pumping station. All right, we're gonna head upstairs in this thing. Then we're gonna go through it. I'm not gonna record all the way through the tunnel because that's pretty boring. I'll show what it looks like from the center and we'll look at the other side. This place has been closed since the 1970s. The highway was used for military practice years afterwards and they still do maintain it enough to be able to get up here. It's close to all motor vehicles but you can still walk through it and bike which I'm gonna do today because it's a 13 mile trail it would just take forever on foot so you can enter at your own risk wild animals shattered glass falling debris and there is a lot of spray paint here even today I think people were doing graffiti because I can still smell it. Oh, I got a big headlamp. Go take a look in here. Pretty sure we can't get up through here. I've seen other films of the place. There's going to be a rickety staircase in here somewhere. Smells really musty in this. Big metal door. There you can see there's some holes and decay. But the state still inspects it. It's still structurally sound, the tunnel at least. That drain is long clogged. Really nice brickwork. That must be roof drains. Unless there's a toilet upstairs, which there might be. Some of those pipes look pretty small. It's probably a bathroom. Now this room really stinks. Some kind of furnace it looks like. Lots of coal. And the stairs are in here. That is not the safest staircase to climb. Just a railing. We gotta go up on top of the thing to be able to enter. some conduits in here probably for electrical back when we had lights tons of trash down there it used to be big enough to walk down the ladder not anymore all those holes on the ceilings are vents to suck up the exhaust from the cars and there's a massive duct work up there we can go look through and there's some birds right there. See the birds nest up in those lights. We got a drain right there. It's a pretty cool one. So the reason this place was shut down in the first place isn't because it was deteriorating, it's because the high demand of traffic this had one lane going in, one lane coming out, and that just is not enough. The new highway runs right over the tunnel. The new highway has four lanes, and this bottleneck was just too much. It would cost too much for them to widen the tunnel. On the way up here, I went through three other tunnels, and they have one tunnel for eastbound and one for westbound. All right, this is cool. Let's look for a good way down.
Okay, let's find a way in. Guess we're climbing through the bottom of the door. Here's those stairs I tried to get up earlier. Pretty stable here. Look down there. Broken steps. Oh, that's the top of the tunnel. Gotta test every step. Well, that's where I was just standing. Can't get up that part. Okay, we're gonna go look upstairs now. And once you're up here, it's not as high as it looks. There's that hole you can see from downstairs. Extremely dangerous stairs. Eventually, these all are just gonna break like down there. So you could tell Water definitely runs along this. Look at all that pitting of the beams. Now, I think these are roof drains, but there were some smaller plumbing pipes downstairs, like this, maybe for heating. Now that right there, you do not want to touch and stir it up. That is asbestos. I don't like how this metal floor is creaking because there's nothing under me if it gives. Let's go up them slowly and it's over until we get to the next pumping station. Now that's a pretty far drop. Mucky area. That's why I brought my boots. Got these massive fans, or technically they'd be called blowers. Look at the size of that. Ton of spray cans in there. This is a massive uh, door right there. See that thing? That thing lifts up and closed to control the airflow. That would be awesome if that was not connected to its drive shaft because it would be like a big hamster wheel. The metal ceiling is, metal roof is just rusting out. We're about to go in there in a minute. This ladder is pretty strong. Right, backing down the ladder. Let's look down here. Here's the other blower. 
And this is the window I was peeking in through earlier. Yeah, I can smell it. Somebody was spray painting in here today. That thing is huge. It's gotta be exactly six feet because my head was touching up there. Let's go take a trip inside of the ductwork above the tunnel. Look at Somebody copied what the door on The Walking Dead says. It's a big handle. Yeah, if somebody was holding that from the outside, they could lock you in. Now, I guess I got here on a dry day. You could tell this is muddy sometimes. Listening carefully to see if anyone else is in here. Can't really hide because your footprints, everything that goes in here. Two more of these big heavy doors because there's going to be a lot of suction when those things are running. Ah, this is incredible. Here's those big doors. Wow, the echo. Whoo! That took a good five seconds for that to come back. Now you gotta watch out for these air holes. They're not really big enough to fall through, but you can easily get hurt if you got your foot stuck. Look at these little tracks. That's for their maintenance cart to go all the way through the tunnel to make repairs. So there's really not too many of these things. Sadly, it would be a little bit difficult to get a bicycle in here, but if you did, you could ride this pretty far distance. Look at that reflective paint. You can really see that. Now, everybody else's videos, there's always bats in here. Let's see if we can find some before the tunnel gets too small, because as you go on, the tunnel is going to get shorter and shorter until you can't really walk anymore. It's like a Willy Wonka hallway. Got to watch out for the random holes. But it seems like the holes are in a straight line. So if you were on a bicycle, I think you'd be pretty safe in here, not falling into one. The tracks no longer go anymore. Looks like they got ripped up. Now that hole's pretty big. I think I could fit through that one. What are these made of? That's high quality stainless steel. They wanted this tunnel to last when they built it. It was originally built for trains. So if you're riding a bicycle along the road, it's pretty flat. Train can only go up a few degree grade. Well, we're not gonna go any further just a waste and look at that I actually walked pretty far I can't even see the light where I came in <laughs> that took a few seconds to get back This place is awesome. You see how it's really illuminated now. The concrete down there is like black. So even if you have really bright lights, what I have on front here is 5,000 lumens and I also have a pretty bright flash. 
Some of the drawings in here are actually really nice artwork. Other ones are just immature. Okay, let's go out. build up on this. All right, time to leave. Let's go inside the tunnel. Okay, we're at the halfway point. Took about five minutes to get here. Takes about 10 minutes to go through the entire thing. Along the way, there's a bunch of these electrical boxes. And a lot of the reflectors in here still exist. When you're riding a bicycle down here, you can every now and then see a little reflector illuminating that wasn't vandalized. Look up on the ceiling, they're no longer round holes. They're big rectangular ones, and I can see up inside there, the ceiling at this point is probably only like three feet inside. There's a red light fixture right there on the wall. On the way back, I'll show you a bunch of the actual traffic tunnels. Look at these drains, these are pretty cool. The middle of the tunnel is the highest point. That looks pretty cool down there, but there's not enough room to really, you'd have to be crawling. There's also a lot of this really sharp concrete that's falling off the ceiling, so you gotta try not to hit that. Imagine getting a flat tire in the middle of this. You can still see the yellow line in the middle of the road. It's nice in here, there's a constant breeze, so you know there's no buildup of gases. All right, we made it to the end of this tunnel. Got a lot of dripping water in here. By the uh, erosion in the concrete, you can tell it's been going on a really long time. If it wasn't for the middle of the tunnel being raised to allow water to come out, you would easily be able to see through the thing. Ooh, I just went through it. Okay, we're out. Look at the concrete here. See all that damage? That's from the winter freeze and thaw cycles, really just ruining it. All right, look at this side. Here we are on the other side of this. The w walls are Pretty steep here. But you can tell right there, people do come down that wall. There's a trail up there. Let's look inside. Oh, this side's a real mess. Broken glass, trash everywhere. This is gonna be a mosquito breeding ground soon. A horde of stairs on this end. 
pretty, pretty bad. But I've seen people's videos, they go up it. Oh, it's slippery. Here's another coal bin. Whatever that was used for. Ceiling does not look safe at all up there. Okay, let's find a way up. Looks like there is somebody coming down the tunnel. Oh, that thing weighs a ton. That must weigh, I don't know. The metal on this is like an inch thick. Can't lift it up. Now in the other tower, you could easily look out the window, but I better lock my bike up before I go up there because this one has a lot of cliff. You actually have to walk a little bit to go up on their maintenance road. I don't have to walk all the way down to the end of the cliff. Here's a pretty decent trail right here. Okay, I made it up. So it was about a eight hour drive from New Hampshire to get here. I drove down yesterday and I used Walmart's overnight parking. And then I came out here today This trail wasn't too bad. Maybe I spoke too soon. It's pretty steep right here. I'll try to go down on the other side afterwards. I'm getting low to the ground so I can catch myself if I do slip. These roots are helpful. I can hold on to them. All right. Hello? I don't think anyone's at this one. There was a few people at the other one camping in the woods. <sighs> Great. That is awesome, the door's open. Pretty awesome though. Let's get a quick look inside here. Lights on. It's gonna be pretty much identical to the other one except this one is gonna be a lot more rusted I think because you saw the downstairs just falling apart. Look at this nasty mosquito larval water. Oh, wow, that's deeper than I thought. Good thing I didn't just step in there. That just goes downstairs like the other one. Big hole in the floor. Good, this one still has its guards. So don't, you don't get sucked into it. As you can see, it's pretty much exactly the same. Wow, is that painted on there? Wow, that, whoever painted that is so good. I actually thought that was peeling off the wall. That person has some great skills. Okay, let's look in here. Get my headlamp on. I can hear the water dripping. Must be really wet up here. really musty at this end. There's got to be some kind of mold or something in here created by the water. Well, my echo just came back and scared me. Not much to see in this side. OK, 
Okay. Why is there paper down there under the stairs? See this asbestos right here? I wonder why it's not on the other pipes. You know why? Because people are hanging on to them, walking across it, stirring up all that crap. You see all this asbestos all over the floor? That's why if you see that in an abandoned building, you don't touch it. Look at that. That's how they heated the place, probably from the, that boiler downstairs where they burn the coal. All right, this one, the door's actually ripped off the wall. You don't have to crawl like the other one. There was actually a few thunderstorms a couple days ago here in Pennsylvania. That's why it's kind of wet. But other than a few days ago, it went a few weeks without rain. So that's why it's tolerable. It's not horribly flooded. Okay, we're done with this tunnel. Now a couple miles to the next one. I'm just gonna walk down this side because it's easiest. I'm not gonna find another way. Hold on to these roots, very helpful. Halfway to the next tunnel, here we have an abandoned bridge with Oregon Road going under it. I drove on that yesterday. Maybe on our way back, we could check out the culvert under here. There's gotta be one. And we could see how bad a condition it's in, not being looked after since the 70s. This road is really bad. Next time I'm gonna bring a mountain bike, cause I'm kind of afraid I'm gonna get a flat tire with a regular bike tires on this stuff. So I'm just going around all these junk patches. It's nice out here. After about 20 minutes of riding, I've made it to the next tunnel. This tunnel is a little bit shorter. This one is point six miles about. And this one only has one pumping station. As you can see, there is no pumping station on this side. It's just an opening. The other side is gonna have a pumping station just like the larger tunnel. So, that other one, like I was saying, the ceiling gets shorter as you walk. And as you walk in there, the ends are really big to duct, but as you get to the middle, it's skinny, so it creates a vacuum to get all the exhaust out of there. I'm unsure if they had the fans blowing in opposite directions to suck everything out, or if they had one side pushing and the other one blowing out. But let's look. Even though there's no pumping station here, there's still a door. Looks like nothing more than a maintenance room. There's a circuit breaker box in there and a bunch of asbestos lined pipes. Now this one you can see is obviously not as long. This one is not even scary going in. You can clearly see daylight out the other side. I better get my lights on. It's down in this hatch. What does that say? Enter hell. Well, if it wasn't full of trash, that would be cool to walk through the drain pipe for the tunnel. Okay, we'll see on the middle of the pipe. All right, we're in the center of the smaller tunnel. Very echoey. See the vents? <laughs> Listen to that echo! Woo! 
awesome. Okay, I'm out the other end, and we're gonna go up there in just a minute to look inside. Now, when I was going through there, as soon as I entered the other end, I could feel it. The entire tunnel in there, it was so clean. And I was thinking, did they street sweep this? I come out the other end, brand new asphalt. You can still smell the asphalt. I think they just paved it this year. You can see how much new graffiti is already on it. But they didn't pave any further. I wonder why they paved just a few hundred feet. Oh, that is cool. Look at that. There's a massive bird's nest up there. The top left of the broken windows or that big vent, I mean. Look at this. Used to be a street light on that. Now this one is going to be the smaller one. That's a good sign. I see a bunch of birds sitting up inside that thing. That means there's nobody else in there. They would have scared away those birds. Let's go check it out. All right. Bunch of birds. Now you can see all these tunnels say, no trespassing, violators will be prosecuted. But those signs are old. That's when they shut down the tunnel. They didn't want people going in here initially, but now they've made it into a bike trail. As that big sign at the beginning says, and look at that, look at that big fence up there. That's because they don't want people walking out, but that's not gonna stop anyone. I think that makes it more dangerous because people are gonna walk around it. There's it got that massive bird's nest. We'll take a look at that when we get up. Yeah, this graffiti is brand new. By the looks of it, people spray paint in here probably every night. I could smell new spray paint earlier. I don't think Google well, this is this gonna open. Look at that. Can't even get in this side. Gotta go in through the window. I'm not doing that. Because it's no different than the other stations that you saw. Gonna be a rickety staircase there. Whew. A lot of trash. But this one's not flooded. The roof must be good. If those stairs are decent, we can walk down them. But now we gotta get up inside of the place. That looks pretty promising. That trail looks not too steep. Bunch of rocks to hold on to. I can climb over this wall, I think. Oh. All right, I made it up. You can see this right here, a lot of people go up the smooth way. That's an old access road. Where I'm walking now, used to be able to drive vehicles up here. It's probably where the employees parked, maybe. Somebody jammed a log in there. Check this out. Look at that storm drain. You don't see ones like that anymore. Makes sense, right? The sides get clogged up, the top still works. It takes longer to clog. Also the top works like a snorkel and it gets rid of the vacuum. There's something walking around out here, probably a deer. I saw a whole bunch of deer. They're absolutely everywhere. I was driving around at two in the morning around here. This area has a lot of deer. Hey, right there will be our way down. Just like before, the doors. Somebody painted the tree. Huh, look at this. 
Yeah, I bet it wasn't safe if somebody could rip it off the wall. Look at that. Ladder's completely gone. About a year ago, I saw this guy's YouTube video at his place, and that's what made me want to come out here. There was a rickety ladder here. While everyone went down, somebody had to hold the top of it. The guy's channel is called JP Videos. It's this guy who makes videos of abandoned structures, abandoned buildings, abandoned places like this, abandoned railways, and tourist attractions. It's a pretty interesting channel. I watch that often. But it appears since last April when that video was, somebody kicked in the door down here. Huh. Because I'm alone, I even brought a roll of duct tape. I was gonna duct tape the top of it to make sure it was sturdy. I guess there's no need. Look at this. It's actually intact, the entire grate. The other one's piece is missing. This one, the screen is still there. Got a galvanized pipe. Probably the roof drain. Okay, lights on. Let's go in. Yeah, this is probably welded from way back when they didn't want you in here. Look downstairs first. There's a tunnel in there. Oh, um, somebody put a ladder in there to get down. It's touching bottom, so yeah, I'm still not trusting that. Cause it's not even set up properly. You could fall back easily on that. I showed what was downstairs anyways. There's a bunch of conduits going through the floor. Electrical box. This was probably for bringing big items up. You know, like, is there a... Maybe there was like a crane or something. Some sort of freight elevator. Tons more asbestos. And you can see how it's worn away because people are touching it as they go around that corner, not knowing what it is. And when they have that on their hand, they're touching their face with that. There's a sink. Now, where the toilet would have been. So this place did have a bathroom. Light switch. Little scalactites on the big beam. I can tell right here, just by the way these steps feel, like this panel's a little loose. You're not gonna be able to go down here, probably in another decade, it'll probably be smashed. Let's go look at the big fan on this tunnel. I'm gonna make sure you don't fall down there. Someone ripped this conduit right off the post. Let's get up inside this one and look around. What's up there? Nothing. Massive bird's nest. These fans are huge. Broken glass. See those cables? Those cables would have lifted up that big door. I'm 
Most people start the adventure from this end because there's a big parking lot. I started down at the big tunnel. There's a parking space or there's a parking lot that's right on the highway. You park right on the abandoned highway. Not too many holes in this ceiling. Like that last one, there was a lot of water in there. So everything was rusting fast. Let's get a quick look inside here. This is the tunnel where it gets short fast. Somebody stole the doors. That's what happens when you're close to the parking lot. Scare the hell out of me. There's a pigeons flying away. Are those pigeon eggs? I don't think so. Why is there eggs in here? Okay, from the big tunnel. You can definitely see this one is a lot shorter the duct because it doesn't have to move as much air it's only about 0.6 miles the big tunnels just over a mile i don't think that goes all the way through but that's hollow look at the little track for their maintenance cart listen to that echo Wow, that sounds like thunder going through this place. I hope that shows up on camera. That's awesome. Let's go walking for a few minutes. Perhaps we can see some bats. It would be nice, like I was saying, if I could get my bicycle up here and ride through this thing. But I don't, just don't see an easy way of doing it. It would be difficult to get it in here. That is fun, messing with the echoing. Well, that's as far as we're gonna go. But the tunnel does get shorter as you go on. And the good thing about this tunnel is an animal, nothing is going to sneak up on you if you're quiet because the footprints, everything echoes through this pipe. Right now, we're going up an incline. The floor here is about four inches thick of concrete, if you can see that. So, it's not a lot of concrete, so when you stomp your feet, it flexes a little and makes a big pulse. Listen to this. Amazing.
Very musty in there. The air in that duct isn't moving around as much as in the tunnel itself. I'm sure the big one, it must be really stuffy in there. With that door on the end shut. Now where'd the pigeons go? Should my lights off to conserve battery where I don't need them? You remember how I went downstairs and I showed that ladder? Uh, I think that's the one they ripped off the wall. They brought it down to get to the first floor. see if we can get up and around here. here we got another drain the drainage ditch is all completely clogged up but it looks like maybe it's still working it's filled with spray paint cans if it wasn't for all the trash I bet I'd be able to walk in it can't get down here so I'm gonna follow the trail Alright, you saw when I was up in there, I was able to go down one flight into that room there. I couldn't get into this room unless I went through that window, because that ladder was too sketchy to be doing alone. It wasn't put up at the proper angle, and you would probably fall backwards on that, up against some jagged metal. Doesn't matter, I still was able to film through the window. We got some pretty good stuff. I hear a ton of pooing pigeons in there right now. They must be up inside the rafters. A lot of hooing sounds. Can you guys hear that on camera? There's pigeons up there in the ceiling, hooing. I just went back and looked at my footage for a second because I, I didn't remember these logs being here. They were. That scared me for a moment. I guess that's a perfect place for a pigeon. Since nobody walks down to the end, because you can't walk that far, you'd have to crawl. The pigeons love it. Up there, where you see those little bolts sticking out of the concrete, it used to say the name of the tunnel. There's my bike down there in the street. And I wanted to see what was on top of this. There's a drainage ditch, and there's a drain on each end. Just wanted to see if there was a vent or anything up here. There's not. Just pretty grown in. Drain's not even clogged up.
went through it before averaging 10, 12 miles an hour. Let's go in. It's got to stop. I need a second hand to turn my lights on. My bike light and my headlamp are basically useless. The battery is down to nothing. But yet I have a mile of this. That's pretty much... Yeah, they don't last long. The light I'm using now is a dive lamp. I am pretty sure occasionally they must street sweep these because the other one was so clean and they even filled potholes because look at all this concrete that fell off the ceiling like most of it you don't even see they must send sweepers through here occasionally to make this safer i'm figuring because there's a lot of missing concrete that's just not here Some of these parts of this road are so bad, you can't even keep a bike stable on them. Occasionally I have to cross over the median. Now oh, it's nice and flat over here. And as you ride, every now and then you gotta switch back and forth to wherever it's best. Too far gone for this. This area of the highway right next to where the toll plaza used to be you see both of the lanes of traffic dip into the middle of the road where there's this grown-in drainage ditch. In some places, I even thought it was an island or a median. Because you see, as you go on, you cannot even notice it's a ditch anymore. But occasionally, there would be a drain. Let's look at that. That used to be two lanes of traffic right there. Now it looks like absolutely nothing. And here we come back to the parking lot. Ooh, somebody just spray painted that. Probably before or since I've been down here because I can really smell that in the sun. And we are back. This is the parking lot, right on the highway. There's probably enough parking spaces here for 30, 40 cars, but you really have to push the front of your car into the woods to be able to make space for people to get around you. And by the looks of it, it doesn't look like it fills up too often beyond this point. But as you can see right there, there's some signs with reflectors and there's a big mound of dirt so you can't continue. There used to be a bridge there, but they removed it probably because it was unsafe. Beyond that, there's a big barbed wire gate saying private road. So this is the 13 mile stretch.